All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to set up this user to where uh, all mail that gets sent to root gets sent to this user. So that way you don't have to log in as root to check messages. So the next thing we'll do is we'll edit Etsy aliases. And we'll just scroll down to the bottom. Here, person who should get Roots mail. We'll uncomment that line, and instead of Mark, we're going to put in Tim H. Now we run the command new aliases, and that saves it. Uh, okay, warning server 9 is not qualified. Let's do this. Type in service. System, sorry. System config network. Now, if you remember on the install, we set it up to where we do DHCP. Now, for a server, you're not going to have a server get its IP through DHCP. You're going to uh, have a static IP for it. And I'm going to put in the static IP here that I have from my network. Let's uncheck DHCP and static IP is 192.168.0.33. The net mask for my network. And the default gateway. Whoopsie. There we go. And we'll go ahead and save. Whoopsie. Save. Save and quit. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart network services. So I'll type in service network restart, and that should bring down the uh, IP address that it got through DHCP and bring up this new static IP that I typed in the config in the config program. All right. I'm gonna just run if config to verify and make sure this looks right. I'm just going to config eth zero. Yep, it's got my new static IP in there. Okay. Now what I want to do is edit the host file. I want to have a qualified address. I'm going to type in the static IP address that I got in here. I just put server nine space. Now, if you've got a DNS server on another machine already set up, uh, you'll just make sure that this machine uses that DNS server. And the way you do that, again, is you go back to System Config Network and under the options of Edit Devices or Edit DNS Configuration, Edit the DNS Configuration. Hit Enter. Okay, it says my host name, primary DNS. Actually, my primary DNS I should have in here. I don't have a secondary on my network, so I'm not going to fill any of that at in the search. Authorcs.net. Okay. Save and quit. There we go. I'll just do an NS scope on Google to make sure everything. Yeah. It looks like it's it's querying the DNS just fine. Okay. Uh, like I said, if you've got your own DNS, you don't need to add your own host into the host table. Um, I don't have a DNS server set up right now of my own, so uh, I use a public DNS. So I'm just going to put it in the host table so that it won't think that it, the server name is not unqualified. If I run new aliases again, I don't need to do this. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. You'll see it no longer gives that warning that the host name is unqualified. All right. Now, the next thing we want to make sure is that SSHD is running because you're going to, as a system administrator, SSHD is your lifeline to your remote servers. So let's PS AX and 
this hd grep v grep so we don't see the grep command okay it is running and we can also check the configuration for that yeah let's see sshd oopsie ssh sorry ssh d underscore config and here we can change the port to default port if we need to uh, protocol this address what I'm going to do here just for security purposes and I think this is important is I'm going to prevent root from logging in through SSH there's no reason for root logging in yeah, that's going to be the number one user that people are going hackers are going to try and use on your server so let's disable lo root login through SSH okay I probably passed it up. Let me just do a search on the root. Here we go. Permit root login. The default is yes. I'm going to uncomment this. Get rid of the yes and put in no. Alrighty. Now I want sshd to reread its config file. So I'll type in service sshd reload. Now root should not be able to log in through ssh. the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install a program that will help me as an administrator uh, when I'm administrating the system to save my sessions if I need it to while I'm logged in and so I'm going to do a yum install this program is not installed by default so I'm just going to type in yum y install screen hit enter Okay. Now, I've got all the basics up. 